It's time for another team of the most overpowered players. Today, we're making it after the winter update where there's been some adjustments. We've got some new upgraded players in this video, as well as players that have always been good, but haven't quite made it into previous teams. If you don't know the concept, we are looking at some of the best players in the game when it comes to attributes that just really work this year in terms of the in-match engine and what does well. And also the players that have really good hidden mental attributes that you wouldn't know without using the in-game editor that turn out to be absolute beasts in game. We're not talking Mbappe, we're not talking Haaland, we're looking elsewhere, but we have some real stars in today's video. And we start off, of course, with our team in goal, and it's Mate Kovar who is going to be our choice of goalkeeper today. This is a £20 million first choice goalkeeper at high flying Bayer Leverkusen out in the Bundesliga. He is formerly of Manchester United. They decided not to hold on to him, or at least he wanted to move to get some first team football. And he's proved he was worthy at that at Leverkusen, where he's been fantastic this season. He's been granted an upgrade in game because of it, and he is now a very good goalkeeping option. Is that what makes him part of this overpowered players video though no it's not this is the only player where i'll show you what i mean i don't want to spoil it for every other player but if you have the in-game editor which i suggest most of you don't use but just for the sake of the video these players also have hidden attributes that make up their personality and influence how they perform on the pitch the particular attributes i will focus on are professionalism injury proneness that's something that you don't want a player to have important matches and consistency how consistent they are and how good they are in important matches all fairly self-explanatory tree hidden under the hood if you use this in-game editor you'll be able to see some of these attributes where he's got 15 consistency 14 important matches free for injury proneness so he's going to be good regularly he's going to be good in the big games and he'll rarely get injured they're the kind of things that we're looking for he's got great hidden mental attributes he's got great attributes on paper goalkeepers aren't particularly interesting but Mate Kovar is one of the best this year next we have a player that is considered one of the most consistent players in the game from here on out I won't reveal any of the actual ratings of those hidden attributes but just know Victor Nelson is one of the most consistent players in all of FM24. He is a centre-back, a Danishman, an international playing for Galatasaray as an important player for the Turkish Giants. He's six foot one and whilst he might not be the world's best on the ball he's not terrible but his strengths are definitely in the old school defending with 16 marking, 15 tackling and great positioning as well. He's strong, he might not be the world's best in the air but he is going to be a great defender. Sean Dyche's Everton are apparently interested in him here and you could see why with that 15 tackling. It's the kind of thing Dyche is going to love but yes good attributes on paper and on top of that his hidden mental attributes are very good as well. He is the kind of defender that's going to perform very consistently for you in the in-game engine, isn't going to put a foot wrong most of the time and for 10 million it's not the worst fee in the world for this level of centre-back. Before we do continue with this list though I've got a job for you guys. Let me know in the comments your favourite players so far in FM24. We're looking to do a video soon about your picks and we'll review them see if they're any good and give you a rating out of 10 so make sure you do that in the comments down below whilst you're down there why not like the video if you haven't already and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that also we're getting close to 180k subs so it'd be great if we can push for it and the final thing is i also have my own channel which you can find in the description down below more football manager content so if you want to check that out i would massively massively appreciate it but let's get back to the list and our other center back that's also a defensive midfield fielder is Ladislav Kreshi here. He plays for Sparta Prague out in the Czech divisions. He's wanted by West Ham and he is the kind of player that I love. Now he has good consistency, good important matches, isn't very injury prone and also has a pretty high rating for versatility which you can see because he can play centre-back and also attacking midfield. He's a very interesting player but he definitely has that in his locker because physically he's very big, six foot three, strong and pretty quick too. He's also very good mentally and a great leader at such young age of only 24, 16 leadership, 16 determination and great work rate. Then he's got good tackling ability, marking and positioning. He can head the ball well so he can do the defensive side but technically 12 dribbling, 11 finishing, good first touch. Really this guy is a perfect player to have either as a ball playing centre back or maybe in that midfield as a ball winning midfielder, even deep line playmaker. Wouldn't be best for him but he could actually do it which is saying something for a centre back. He's left footed as well so if you're after a left footed defender he could be a 
great pick. He's someone that always performs well in game and it's because of a mixture of the attributes you can see here and also some of the hidden ones that just make him tick under the hood. We had a player from Galatasaray, now we're going to Fenerbahce and it's Ferdi Kadioglu, the 20 million pound fantastic fullback who can play on the left and the right and if you're interested can also play pretty much everywhere else bar striker, centre back and goalkeeper. He's wanted by some big clubs here and often if you don't sign him in season one he will make a move. I've seen him be PSG's left back, I've seen him be Real Madrid's left back. As you can see he's got great attributes and whilst he isn't the best defensively he is pretty good going forward and is very technically gifted. Also being multi-sided as a defender is very handy to have. He offers you some great depth in your team and even better than that his mental attributes as you can imagine are also very good. He's consistent, he's good in big games and a Turkish international has got a bright future and clearly a very bright present as well. And our final defender in this list is Anthony Kashi here who is playing for Mines as an important player for the Bundesliga side wanted by Aston Villa at left back. Why they want him I don't know I'm pretty sure they have Alex Moreno, does Lucas Digne also play there as well? Maybe he's moved by now, I don't know, haven't seen his name for a while. Uh, but yes, Anthony Kashi, a fantastic left-back option, great in every single area, nothing too amazingly stand out, but he is good in every single aspect of the game. Saying that, good long throws and really good crossing make him a very good threat on that left-hand side, but he can defend as well with 14 tackling, 13 marking, good teamwork, positioning, and off the ball work too. He's only going to cost you about 5 million, and under the hood in the hidden attributes, he has got them down to a T. Really consistent, good in important matches. Not much more you could ask for for a 26-year-old left back heading into his prime, a former under-21 French international. Hopefully, if you give him the chance, he might even make that French squad. I don't know what they put in the waters in Scandinavia, but we had Victor Nelson earlier from Denmark, who was super consistent. And one of the closest challenges to his Mr. Consistent title is Patrick Berg, the Norwegian 25-year-old playing for Bodo Glimt. Signable for two three four million pounds depending on your save 25 years of age a Norwegian international a great leader who's determined and he's also got a great personality which you can use to mentor your younger players on top of that if that wasn't already enough he's just a really good player on the ball too and he's great defensively he's wanted here by West Ham and AC Milan so European level clubs Bodo Glimpse surely have a player on their hands here that they will sell soon and make some money from this guy is a great team player he's going to work card he's got some nice player traits as well he is a very good midfield option and at the age of 25 heading into his prime if you can pick him up you will see some great performances from him a slightly more technical midfielder though with similar aspects to his game is Hicham Buadai whose name I've definitely butchered trying to pronounce there but he is an Algerian 23 year old playing for Nice in the French divisions wanted here by Premier League side West Ham now he is again a very hard working box to box style midfielder but he's really good on the ball when it comes to his passing with 15 passing 14 vision and 14 technique he is only five foot nine so you might assume he's like the weak passing midfielder no I mean he's got good strength he's also good at tackling marking and positioning he's got really good first touch and dribbling ability he is the kind of player box to box is perfect for it where he's going to carry the ball up the field for you he's going to run with it he's going to create chances for your team but he's not afraid to get stuck in the Algerian is a fantastic talent an important player for Nice to be able to pick him up for about 12 or 13 million is a pretty cheap fee considering what you're getting I won't spend too long on him this is more of an honorable mention that's going into the team but I just also wanted to mentioned Jean-Paul Van Hecker of Brighton. The 23-year-old Dutchman was improved in the winter update. He's got great attributes when it comes to a ball-playing defender. He's a great tackler as well, a physical presence. And under the hood in his hidden attributes, he's also very talented. So a good centre-back if you've got a bit more money to play with, he will cost you about 50 mil. Moving further up the pitch though, we now have Nicolas Gonzalez, the Argentinian international. He is one of the more expensive ones in this list, but there's a reason why. His attributes are good in the hidden attributes, but the reason that I'm focusing on him is the on-paper attributes that you can see here. This guy who's got absolutely everything that you could possibly want from a wide player and he is only 25. Do you want a wide player that is quick, can dribble whilst also being strong and really good in the air? 
Sure, do you want a player that's good mentally, has got great flair, good off the ball work and works hard for his teammates? Of course you do. Do you want him to be able to hit a pass, hit a penalty, score headers for some reason as well? Do you want him to have great first touch, dribbling ability? And do you want him to score or cross? Don't worry, this guy can do both. Do you want him to play on the left or the right? He can do both. This man is genuinely an unbelievable talent. I don't know why I haven't came across him more, but he came up in these searches. He's a fantastic player already in Argentina international great hidden attributes as well like I mentioned so I mean there's not too much more to say about him Nicolas Gonzalez what a talent the left-footed winger is someone that you need to add to your team if you're an elite level club looking for some extra option on the wing Lorenzo Luca a football manager court hero of the last couple of years is still great in game playing for Udinese on loan from Pisa formerly at Ajax he's been other places too right maybe it is just Ajax either way currently at Udinese in Syria there is an optional future fee of six points 0.75 million. If they don't pay it, you can sign up a striker that's a great finisher, great in the air, can pass well, is really good mentally. But the best thing about him, the reason he's so OP this year, he's six foot seven and he's got 18 jump from reach. This man is just going to score so many headers, great strength and great heading ability as well. He's going to get up high, beat away any defenders, get his head to the ball and score pretty much every single time. On top of that, you think he's just going to be a big man, but he is really good technically and mentally. He's got everything in his locker and he's even fairly quick too. Not the fastest in the world, no Usain Bolt mind you, but he can definitely put in a shift, a great option up top and one of the best this year. Sir Hal Grassi is another player that was already great, we spoke about him before but he got boosted in the winter update and is now definitely one of the most OP players. In fact he actually featured in our first OP players video in FM24 and I don't like to repeat players ever in the OP series but we're going to bring him back purely for the fact that he's now been made even better, he's been upgraded, you need to know about him 27 years of age in his prime with a 17 million pound release clause this man could score goals at the highest level a fantastic forward who's super consistent in game definitely one you need to pick up now if you haven't already after the winter update and finally we have maximiliano gomez playing for Cadiz, I believe this is, yes, on loan from the Turkish divisions. He is a very good forward option on paper for a cheap fee. Is he as good as some of the others? No. Are his hidden attributes better than the others? Yes, that's the reason I like him so much. He's got really good attributes under the hood, which make him a great forward. He's been around the block a little bit from Uruguay to Celta Vigo to Valencia. Now back in Spain with Cadiz. He's scored goals in this division before. He'll be hoping to do it again now at the Spanish club. He's a good option up top if you're looking for for a pressing forward. So if you wanted a bit more of a bargain option, then Maximiliano Gomez could be the one, once his loan's done at Cadiz, might be available in Turkey for a cheap fee to add to your frontline firepower. So there you go. There's a team of some of the most overpowered players after the winter update, some of which have been improved and some of which we just hadn't spoke about yet. Let us know your favorites in the comments down below and hopefully we can make a video on that. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.